Right now, federal investigations spanning both sides of the country are underway after several people reportedly got on board a Delta Airlines jet who shouldn't have been there. This all happened on border flight from Atlanta to Los Angeles. Fox Vice Tyler Fingert has been looking into this for us. He's live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport with details you'll see first here on Fox 5. What did you find out, Tyler? Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. A source tells me up to six people fraudulently obtained boarding passes to get on board a Los Angeles-bound Delta flight here in Atlanta last week. Now the FBI wants to figure out how it happened. A boarding pass is your key to get on your flight, but last week, federal investigators say they responded to a call about a person or group who was able to fraudulently obtain one to get on a Los Angeles-bound Delta flight in Atlanta. Passengers were shocked that something like this could happen. That's a huge risk that people are heading on with like fraudulent board boarding passes and documents. It's not safe for me as a passenger. The FBI tells Fox 5 it's investigating the situation on board Delta Flight 345 Friday morning. Agents say some passengers were detained in question once the plane landed in L.A. Nobody has been arrested, but one person was cited. A source says up to six people may have been involved. In this case, it's very concerning that it, it was more than just one individual. If it was one, you could say that that was a, a very good actor. This incident comes weeks after a man in Utah was arrested after sneaking onto a different Delta a plane. Security cameras caught him taking photos of other passengers boarding passes. Investigators say he then used one of those pictures to get on the flight. Aviation analyst Kyle Bailey says technology is making it easier to stow away. The reason why we're seeing this happen more frequently is a combination of things. Number one, uh, you're, you're easily able to duplicate things, whether it's on the iPhone or, you know, cutting and pasting a PDF or what, whatever you might do. Passengers say airlines need to do more to prevent this. They should be spending money and creating a team that is trained to look for these kinds of situations and keeping up to date with how these people are trying to get on board. An FBI spokeswoman says while well, they have not made any arrests, she says the case is active and ongoing. As for Delta, the airline tells me they are cooperating with law enforcement. We're live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 yeah, News. Alarming to say the least. Tyler, thanks so much.